Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy and in today's video I continue with the Christmas gift ideas tutorials that I have a whole playlist of and you could check it here at the eye icon and down there in description as well. In this video I'm showing you these beautiful beaded balls for Christmas tree. If you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button because sometimes I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be inspired often usually two times a week. I'm showing really easy and slowly in this tutorial so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make it by yourself. I have two similar tutorials that I'll link down there in description to see and down there in description you will see a full list of materials linked to my second channel with the fast clips where you could also wanna, might want to subscribe linked to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials and also link to my store and link for PayPal donations. Thank you so much for watching guys. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 ounce seed beads. You could use 10 ounce seed beads if you want, still works. And these are ear wires in this beautiful old gold color. And here I use monofilament that is 0.006 inches to 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. Here I use size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up first to make this beautiful circle are eight of these golden beads. Okay guys, and now I have my eight beads here and I'm going to slide those down. Okay, almost until the end of my work. And now here I'm going to make a knot. Okay, and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. And then guys, I will make one more knot and pull again. Okay, so now this is what I have and you could go reinforce your work one more time if you want. Okay, and when you do, you have this. Okay, guys, and now what I'm going to do next is take one seed bead and go back through this bead that you're exiting out of. And when you pull, you see what you have. You have a loop between those two beads. Okay, and you pull. Then what I do is that I go through the following bead just like this and I'm going to repeat this step one more time okay I'm taking one seed bead and I'm going back through the one that I'm exiting out of in circle and I pull and you see what I have a loop between those two beads okay and I'm showing you here third time taking one seed bead of this beautiful golden color going back here through this one that I'm exiting out of and this is what I have. Okay guys and now I'm going to do this off camera with the rest of the beads and I'll meet you here in a while. Okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. If you're notice on the way just move it a little bit to the other side Okay, so now guys, what I want to do is flip my work. It's not obligatory, but I find it easier because I want to go here through this bead and change directions. This is a wanted effect, changing directions. Okay. And now what I want to do is go here and add some more beads. Okay, I'm taking one bead and I'm going through the following Okay, this row is really simple and really easy. Take just one more, go through the following, one more, okay. So now this is what I have and I'm just uh, filling the gaps here. I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. 
okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row and I have my second row so my first row consists of eight beads and my second row consists of 16 beads I'm going around in circle reinforcing this row okay eight then 16 okay guys now I have this and for my next row guys what I want to do is start it with the same step I mean take one C bead and go back here through the bead you're exiting out of like you did before and you see you have again this beautiful loop between your beads and you pull okay the first step is the same the, the second step is a little bit different so I'm going through the next bead and what I want to do is take two seed beads go back in circle through this one just like this okay so now I have this then again I'm going through the following seed bead here taking just one bead and going back in circle through this one okay so I repeat the first step where I'm adding one bead then in my second step I go through the following seed bead and I repeat the second step where I add two beads okay and I go back and uh, just to save time I'm going through the following seed bead as well this saves me one move guys okay so uh, the final result is that I double every second of these seed beads so okay I add here one and the next one guys I double okay so I take two like this then I add one and then I double the next one so I double every second of those seed beads in this row in the third row of my circle okay I'll do this off camera and I'll be back okay and here I am guys where I'm adding my last two beads from this row okay and I pull and the next one here is one bead and this one here before it is one bead so I'm alternating them okay so now guys what I want to do is go around through all of those beads to make them stay in one direction this is an obligatory step at this stage okay and I did it and in this row guys what I want to do is something predictable okay I take one bead go back here through this one exiting out of the following just to save time okay I have this then in my next step I will take again one bead go back here through this one and exit out of the following okay now I have this and the next one I will double I take two beads and I go back through it okay now I have this one one double so I double every third seed bead 
in my previous row I was doubling every second beat and in this row I'm doubling every third beat and it will continue on and on the same way for the next rows okay I'm showing one more time I'm taking one seed beat going back through this one here okay like this like I did before so many times and I take one more go back through the following in circle and pull and I double the third one okay now I have this and I will continue this one one two one one double one one double and I will meet you here guys when I finish this row okay and here I'm adding my last two beads from this row I'm adding two and the next that are coming are one one and then double and if you have this you know you work correctly okay so now in my next step what I want to do is go around again reinforcing this row and I won't show you the whole process of uh, reinforcement but I'll meet you here in a while okay guys and my row with 32 beads is ready and now I will start my next row and for my next row guys I will add one then one more then a third one the same way and the fourth one guess what i'm doing i'm sure you could guess what i do the fourth one i'm doubling i'm picking up two beats at this step okay i double the fourth one In next row I will be doubling the fifth one if I have a next row. I think I'm gonna stop until this row. Okay and I'll show you one more time. Now I take one golden bead, go back in circle through the one that I'm exiting out of and just to save time go in the, the next one. Okay then again one I go back here through this one and through the following okay then I pull okay this is a second one okay then again one go back through the one that I'm exiting out of and go through the following if you don't see my thread just follow my needle where it goes okay so now I'm exiting here after this bit you see here and since I added two beads in a row uh, since I added three beads in a row that are single now I will add a double okay so I'm doubling the fourth bead here okay I will continue and in this row I should have 40 beads in total if you have less or more it means you skipped something and you should go back and redo this okay guys and here i am at my last step where i need to add two seed beads and after that i have three singles okay so now guys what i want to do is again reinforce this row and if you want you could act a next row after this and you double your fifth beat in a row okay if you want go on and do this now i'll reinforce this and show you how i'm finishing my earring okay guys and i just reinforced this row and what i want to do now is flip my work because it's easier for me and now what i'm going to do is pick up eight of these beautiful red beads 
okay I have here my eight beads you see and as I'm exiting from this bead I go back in circle through those three beads okay and now what I do is that I go through this four red beads okay just like this and I'm going to take my ear wire okay and I'm going here through my ear wire just like this going through it and then I go back through these four beads okay just like that okay now I have it here attached and I want to go one more time to reinforce this joint so I'm going through these three beads here in this direction then I go back here and you could do this even three times if you want just to be sure it's all tight and secure okay and when you're ready you find a place to make a knot okay let's say i'm making my knot here and i'm making it by making here a loop and going once going second time through this loop i've made and i pull then i go in the following seed bead go through it and then cut my thread cut it as close as possible to your work of course you could do more knots if you want okay guys and now my beaded ball earring is ready okay guys so now my christmas tree decoration beaded ball earrings are ready and if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell and i usually post two times a week so you will be inspired often down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials i will be so happy to see them and you could also check my second channel with beaded fast clips and if you like it also subscribe there so thank you so much for watching Bye-bye from me.